I had never seen firing from every direction in any direction as I saw that morning. I was born in Norfolk, Virginia, June the 13th, 1922. My family was Jewish. We knew that sooner or later that the United States was going to be involved in the war. I was only 18, 19 years old. I signed up at Fort Monroe, Virginia to go into the 506 Parachute Infantry. Nothing has ever been before or since of what they put us through including the running, the training, and also the obstacle course that was, we said, developed by the devil himself. They almost killed all of us. But on train, troop train, we knew that it was going to New York, and that therefore we knew we were going to go to England. We trained very seriously in England because we knew this was the word to do. And this was in September, 1943. Got on a plane, traveled over the channel. By the time we got across, all hell occurred. We were passing over Jersey Islands. We got flak from there, but it didn't reach us. When we hit the coast, it looked like we, it was the 4th of July, Stuff was coming through the aircraft. You could hear it. The green light went on. We stood in the door. I jumped. Where I jumped, I had no, not the foggiest idea. I landed in a bunch of cows. Had I known then what I know now, I would have dropped dead because I found out half hour later that I'd landed at the Carnation Milk Plant in Carentan. That was the headquarters of the Hermann Goring Corps of Armor. And I had jumped right in the middle of it. Sure enough, came up to farmhouse. I put two people around the house, took one with me as if it was Sunday morning, knocked on the door. The farmer came to the door with his wife. I got my map out, and he knew what I was trying to ask. I said, St. Com de Mont. He said, we. Oui. He also pointed. I oriented the map a bit more. I next said, Karen's hand. He started thumping on the floor. We, oui, we, oui, Karen's hand. I said, oh my God. We got to get the hell out of here right now. We are in the middle of Carentan. I know where I am, so I said, boys, let's pack up and go. We were given to a mission of clearing out Carentan to give our beach forces some breathing room. We fought all day until finally a couple of light tanks, three light tanks, showed up on my side. And I said, oh boy, I've had it made. Had we not prevailed at that battle, we would be still trying to get the Krauts off of the continent of Europe, I'm convinced. Because there was no one, no one at all between us and the beach. at the Eagle's Nest in Birch's Garden. We were the first ones there. Uh, naturally, we did what any God-fearing soldier would do. We looted the whole place of everything that we wanted. I got a little bit of the silverware plus a bottle of cognac, Hennessy cognac. And on the bottle of cognac, it says, for the fruit's use only. I kept a bottle of cognac and I brought it home and I used the bottle of cognac to celebrate my son's 13th year of bar mitzvah. 
that I brought more men home from my platoon than any of the 200 platoons in the 101st Airborne Division. Of that, I am proud of. I was tough. I wouldn't take no for an answer. I wouldn't take a lot of bull. I was concerned with bringing those men home. The mission first, bringing the men home. 